before the video start y'all don't pay attention to the side of my head yeah i know you know i'm missing some edging but that is fine i got enough hair to cover that up when and if i want to that's not important so focus on what i'm talking about and what i'm doing versus my hair okay because i know exactly what i got going on okay hope y'all enjoy the video and i hope y'all is having a wonderful day thus far good morning how you all doing i hope you all is doing well um today is saturday march the 4th 2023 and this year um the kids and i are doing a garden now i got a section in my backyard where i had um a fence in area where um oh like i was saying i got it um mount my um phone stand back up but yeah like i was saying me and the kids um we make doing a, a backyard garden this year yes we have our all been the it's all good and we have a big garden down there but you know i wanted some um right in the yard let me turn this air down y'all hold on um yes i wanted some in the backyard you know for the kids to um you know that just to maintain for themselves, you know, I'm gonna start it, but well, we all starting it, but it mainly gonna be something that they go out and take care of and maintain. Um, and the area that I'm doing it in, it was um, Hope World. Well, I call it Hope World because she had her little trampoline in there, she had her little swing in there, and you know, just a little safe area for her. Um, when we go outside because Hope tends to just run, 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 so you know, anyway. But now she's a little older, mature, and I got um, a fence in my front yard. You know, where well, the whole house is fenced in, so you know she don't have to be in a secluded, I mean, a safe zone area just for her because she can run from the back door to the front yard, and we don't have to worry about her trying to run in the street because, well, anyway, y'all get the picture. But the area that I had for Hope will be the garden area now because, ooh, this pollen, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm just going all over the place but this pollen down here in the south in Alabama is serious but it be like this area so it ain't that no I just had to tell my wife it's on but that's gonna be the garden area um the area's already fenced in and that's perfect you know because um like sometimes well I don't have a rabbit problem maybe because you know cats and we're in a big neighborhood but down last year the rabbit ate a lot of our stuff um, in our garden for it's all good. So I'm glad I got that little fist in area, which would be perfect. So I'm going in the Dollar Tree because um, as you all may or may not know, you can grow um, stuff in pots. You don't have to have an in-ground garden. So the Dollar Tree have these perfect pots. Um, y'all will see them on some of my old videos, but if not, that's what I'm going to get now because I grow my squash in there and you can grow zucchini in there and all kind of other stuff. Then I'm going to go to Walmart and get these little buckets uh, for my tomatoes and okra to grow in. Yes. So, all right, let me head in the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to take out in there because <laughs> y'all know how Dollar Tree look. And uh, yeah, but I'll show y'all what I got when I come okay y'all these are the baskets that i'm talking about and i am so glad that they got pink i never saw the colors in there before i guess it's um like pastel colors but i was so happy to see the pink ones and um when she a wiper okay i put some fluid in there i'm like what's coming on now but they got these Glade air fresheners in there these was the only three that had left i got some in here the last time i was in here I got that and Zephaniah, a Mickey shirt, y'all. A Mickey shirt. You know, with a little $5 stuff there, but that's all. But uh, these are the main things that I went and got. Okay, on to Costco's and Walmart. Okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all while y'all watch this little view. But, um, I had lost about nine pounds. I, I start eating tacos and nachos and cheese every day strong for a good two three weeks 
and um y'all I gained them pounds right back and I'm mad at myself because I got a wide membership and I got a person that um is willing to you know train me I just never did get back with him I mean I used to be an athlete I don't know why I just I just won't go I went what two times last month and before that I think with January yeah February I think I went two times last month I want to get too close to them vehicles but um and I think all of went three times in January and, and, and I, I don't go I need to go because I'm paying the money and I'm not utilizing it you know, um, you know, the kids, they go in the summer times, you know, but we don't go all the time. We go sometimes. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to get in contact with the person and, you know, so we can set up some set days. And I, I, I just got to do it. I just got to do it because it's really, to be honest, yeah, okay, I'm going to lose weight. That's no doubt. If you're working out, you're going to lose weight. And if, and if you're eating right. But my main reason why I want to do it is health reason, you know, because I'm almost 50, you know, Lord's will I live to see that age. I'm 48, Lord's will I be 49 this upcoming September. And high blood pressure real, diabetes real, and all type of other sickness, cancer, you know, all that stuff is real. But my main thing is to try to stay healthy as to not um, a lot of old things to affect my body because if you do a certain thing then you know it will that that's what anything so my main reason is to work out and stay active so I can stay healthy to have the strength and energy that I need first of all to do God's work and second of all to live my life here so yeah so I just want to rent, uh, not rent, well, I probably did went on a rent to somebody, but I just want to share that with y'all. So let me show y'all what I've been doing every day. So every day I've been making me a smoothie and, um, that, that lasts me the whole morning, the whole morning. And in the afternoon I snack on me like some nuts and some, um, some grapes. I normally try to keep some nuts in the van, but I'm, you know, I don't have them in here. I got my smoothie with me like while I'm out and about. So I won't get the herbs, so you know, like want to try to buy some um, healthy to snack on. I got my smoothie with me. And so um, that would help me because, I, you know, at one point in time, that's all I would do. Like eat healthy, do my smoothies, go work out. So I'm trying to motivate my own self to start back doing that. Because like I said, I'm getting up in the age and I don't want to call none of these sickness on me. So I'm going to do the necessary steps that I need to do. And that's it another reason why i'm doing my at-home garden yeah i can easily go to our um business garden because we do grow stuff there for us you know to get our herbs and stuff but that's the main reason why i want to do mine at home because it's easy access you know if i want a tomato need a tomato go pluck it go pull it you know if i need some herbs um to eat raw or to go in my food then you know i do it and see another thing too my daughter Hope, as you all may or may not know, she has autism, so she likes to smell certain stuff. So um, what we do every year, like when the herbs get ready, most of the time they stay ready, but this whole freeze, it just kept all of our herbs. But they're coming back. So what we do for Hope, we just gather up some like basil, thyme, rosemary, cilantro, you know, stuff like that. We just gather up some of that and let her sniff and, you know, play with that because after all, it is a natural and it's good for her brain and her body and healing. So, yeah, so that is the number one reason why I want to do that, especially my herbs for my baby girl, Hope, and for us too. So... I just wanted to share that with y'all. Oh, in case y'all want to know what's in the smoothie. Blueberries, strawberries, um, spinach, banana, apple, almond milk. I got to get me some protein powder. I might get some while I'm at um, Costco's. But um, but that's why I do the nuts because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like that. 
taste of the protein powder for real but i know i will do it as long as it mixed up in there but it to me it's not a necessity as long as i do um stuff with protein in there but that's it so i will see you all when i leave out of costco's because once again y'all know how costco's look if you don't google it or watch one of my videos with me in costco's <laughs> it's nothing new let me go y'all see y'all in the next clip and on this part i'm leaving out of costco's we do get our own organic soil um you know from compost and you know from the grounds itself around our trees but i just needed this to add on to what we already have okay so i just want to clarify that up yes okay and these are the items that i got out of um walmart when i went there so yes All right, I'm back. Tell him how is that? Hey. He just cut up in here. And like I said, this used to be Hope World. Her, her swing used to be right there. They go her swing. I find some mess to do with that. And yeah, the dogs used to be in here. They dug holes. So, which is fine because it's going to be the garden. I'm not worried about that. But Zach uh, cut this and I got some weed kill grass and weed kill that i'm finna spray in here now and that's what the garden gonna be the pots everything gonna be in pots y'all and mr zaki is playing bowling let's see what he do he don't have them lined up right but that's okay oh you missed it's okay try again okay. well, Zephaniah, where is you going? Uh, I'll put it right no, y'all gonna cut around there first, uh, in the backyard, around around the fence area first. Then y'all can go out there. Oh, I missed it. My baby knocked some down. Hmm. Okay, try one more time, and then Mama got to get back to work. Okay. Well, I, I'll be back. You got Miss Hopi out here. Hey, Mama. Angel Face. She eat her orange. Cheese. Okay, that that kid want me to get him. Cheese. Go. Got my baby bubbles going. Wow! Good job, man. Good job. Go the bay. All right. Got me faith in the blow. Get it. <laughs> They playing with hoes. She running on the floor. <laughs> All right. Normally, we don't use chemical around where we're growing food at, but I'm not going to have nothing in the ground. Um, everything going to be in the pot. And because I never know what I might need to revert this area back into. So down in our garden, we do not use no type of chemicals, you know, on our, um, at our business. So this is just a little yard garden that I'm growing this year um, in our backyard. So, yes, and my brother Jamie, he normally um, makes some natural ones, but he was out doing a job. So, and I just wanted to go ahead and get this garden started. So, I just wanted to add that in. We do not believe in the chemical. All right, today is Monday, May, I mean, March, March 6, 2023. And the kids, well, all the kids finna start um, their vegetable seeds. So, the kids want to do tomatoes. So, only thing I'm gonna do is just open it up and just Spread it around, Zacchaeus. Okay. Okay, go ahead and start it, Zacchaeus. Sprinkle your seed. You ain't have to pour it in your hand, uh -oh, baby. Oh, the cups. Just sprinkle it around. The cups. Sprinkle it around. Zacchaeus, you could have just. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sprinkle it around. Okay, it's all over my hold, hold, hold the package over the soil and just pour, pour the rest of it over there. Sprinkle it. Go in a circle. You still put it in your hand. But, oh, good job. Is that it? Another one in there? All right. And these are the... What they say? Early girl. Early girl tomatoes. 
Now I think we got all of them out. You can check it and see that we drop in it. Nope, we didn't. So now that kids just mm -hmm. take it and cover it up. Just okay. gent just gently cover it up. Just gently cover it up. Push that soil over it. Push the soil over the seed. Like that. Okay. You got it good? Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can I water it? Yes. Go bring the host pipe over here, the kid in the back. Now we're gonna uh, fill that jug up. Get that jug right there, Lebay, and go fill it up. Okay. Well, it's on in here now, Zachy. It's here. Put your hand over it like that and shake it. Shake, shake it over there. Keep your hand while you're watering it. Keep your hand over there while you're watering it and shake it. Go all the way around. Take it all the way around in a circle. There you go. And we, okay, keep going. All right, the bag go fill it up. We can stick this in here. All right, let me, let me just make sure all of it's on. Okay, we're going to stick this in here so we'll know what it is on the side. And I'm also going to write Wait, on the side. These are not tomatoes. Early, these are the ones you just did. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, oh, That's the pack you just did. And I'm going to write tomatoes right there. All right, my squash is now ready to go in the pots. So I'm going to put two in each pot. All right, Faith doing her part. 